While it was time to return home from the U.S., where she trained and worked as a critical care nurse, 29-year-old Nelly Tui Kong opted to revisit a job she had tried while still in Kenya. I'd seen in my rural home, I used to see women sending public transportation to the city to buy products. So I saw sort of like the gap and started sell, bringing uh, makeup products to sell. This time, however, she went beyond setting up a cosmetic shop. She decided to start her own line. I wanted to create a, a makeup product that really centered into the African woman and celebrated the African beauty. That gap saw the birth of Pauline Cosmetics. A year and a half down the line, she stocks her products in 12 outlets in six major towns in Kenya. She credits the success of her products to her nursing background. We started playing around with formulas, like for example, this one now has shea butter, vitamin A and E. On any given day, you will meet Tui Kong making rounds in any of the outlets, assisting clients get the colors right, or meeting curious ones who may need a little convincing on the Kenyan brand. Clients like Judy Cherotich have already been won over. I knew there were Kenyan products and that has even made me come all over royal clients. Looking back, Tui Kong says hers has been a learning experience. She started off with $15,000 and people she calls angel investors chipped in an undisclosed amount. She's just broken even and her eyes are set on new products and new markets. Ten years from now, I want to be international. I want to design a product that will be packaged and given a little bit extra African vibe into it and export it to the West. Why not? Her word of advice to young women who bring a dream of owning a business is embrace your fears and just do it. Sarah Kimani, SABC News, Kenya.